Let's look at external collaboration and implicit intents. Android apps are often described as a collection of collaborating activities. This collection includes many of the activities installed on a device, regardless of which app they came from. Some examples of these Android activities are contacts, phone, camera, etc. Launching one of the standard activities can be extremely useful. For example, suppose your app needs to get information about one of the user's contacts. It's easier to launch a contacts activity than to programmatically access the contacts data and build a picker UI yourself. Using the standard contacts activity also ensures a familiar user experience. Activities can opt out of this cross-app collaboration in two ways. Use a signature level permission so only other activities signed with your certificate can access it, or turn off export for the activities you want to hide. Your app can start activities defined in other apps or within apps installed with the OS. You use an intent to do this, however the properties you load into the intent will be different here than when you're starting one of your own activities. An implicit intent is an intent that does not identify the activity to start. Instead, it describes the operation you need done and lets Android choose an activity to handle your request. This helps make activity-to-activity -activity relationships more loosely coupled. You don't have to hard code the activity's name into your app. You don't need to know which activity does the work for you. All you care about is that it gets done. This arrangement also tailors the experience to the user's preferences. For example, you can say my app needs to take a photo and Android will find an activity that can take a photo and launch it for you. If Android finds more than one activity that can do the job, it displays a picker and lets the user decide. On the other hand, suppose you used an explicit intent that required the use of the standard Android photo activity. The users would not get to utilize their preferred activity to take the photo. Technically, an implicit intent is an intent that does not have a component specified. In this context, component is the following two pieces, application package name and class name. Implicit intents are typically used to start an activity defined outside your APK. They can also be used to start an activity that is part of your APK, however this is rare since explicit intents are generally simpler to work with. Here we see that an implicit intent contains several things that describe what you need done. Action, at a high level, is the thing you want done. Data, like a phone number, can get passed to the target activity. MIME type is a little tricky. It's the kind of information that the activity is going to operate on. It helps Android decide which activity to launch for you. Categories can include a high-level description of the activity you want done or what kind of activity it is. Extras give more details about what you want done to the target activity and give it data to operate on. You don't need to use all of these pieces every time. Action and data are often enough to let Android choose an activity for you. Android calls action and data the primary pieces of information in an intent. The Android documentation tells you what to load into an intent. How to create intents for many common cases is described on the Android developer site. It would be extremely difficult for you to try to figure out which combination of action, categories, data, mime type, and extras to provide for every case you might encounter. Generally, that isn't your job. The author of an activity should document the settings that are needed in an intent in order to invoke the appropriate activity. Your job is to read the documentation and build an intent to match. This statement is perhaps slightly too optimistic because sometimes it's hard to find documentation that explains this clearly. You may need to read the Android source to look at the intent filter for the activity you are trying to launch. Android has a guide with sample code that shows how to create implicit intents for many common situations. It does not cover every case though, so you may still find that you need to look online for guidance from the Android community.